Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with another model video. Today we're going to be talking about plastic cement. What is it? Substitutes, what it's made of and how to make your own. All stemming from the popular trend of swapping out your Tamiya extra thin cement with the airbrush cleaner. Plastic cement is a solvent more than a glue and melts two points and fuses it together welding. Plastic models, which is a low chemical resistant plastic such as polystyrene and ABS, will become soft and sticky from any application of solvents applied to it. Tamir in particular is just a 50-50 mix of butyl acetate and acetone. The best discussion and evidence supported was found on the Brit Modeling Forum, a safety data sheet as source. These chemicals are extremely common and found in many applications and industries which can be purchased online from most solvent wholesalers. We will save butyl acetate for future videos on making thinners retardants and leveling thinner. Today we're going to go for the vintage offering of MEK. Found in cements from the 70s, 80s and 90s and heavily discussed on the fine scale modeler forums. Health disclaimer, these organic solvent chemicals are very carcinogenic and hazardous. They have a high evaporation point and are fairly unstable in being flammable and can cause all sorts of respiratory and nerve damage. Use in outdoors or well ventilated spaces when experimenting and mixing. Do not inhale or huff the small bottles. First experiment is using straight solvents to replicate extra thin cement. We'll be testing these three chemicals individually on gluing some ABS scrap material for scratch building and styrene Gundam snap kit parts for model building. First acetone, a polish thinning agent and very common chemical with a moderate price tag. Compared to hobby grade materials, extremely cheap. Tamir offerings, you're just paying for the brand, the shipping from Japan and packaging. Very quick evaporation and requiring a few coats. The bond was very strong, but dried before I could stick the two halves together. Capillary action would be far better. I reacted well to styrene and ABS. Behaved just like the extra quick cement. Good for aircraft, not a big fan. Funny enough, slow to set and chemically harden. MEK, a more difficult chemical to source and not readily available, except for online. Very pungent and nasty odor. Evaporates ridiculously quickly, where leaving a open bottle overnight can deplete your entire little bottle. About the same in the way of application and viscosity to extra thin except a lot hotter and welds and bonds quite strongly. Dries and cures fairly quickly with just enough work time to position the parts together and adjust. Very nostalgic, it pretty much reminds me of testers and model masters from the 90s. Additional health warning, this is one of the more nastier ones and has been banned or discontinued by the brands. There is evidence to support very nasty nerve and cognitive damage from regular exposure and use. Chroming is addictive and immediately harmful. Use this at your own risk. The third chemical is any form of lacquer or general purpose thinner. I used premium thinner. This chemical is also a mix of butyl acetate and acetone. The percentage I'm not 100% sure. Pretty much behaved a lot like Tamir Extra Thin. Just a bit hotter, a stronger bond and adhered a lot nicer. Besides the difference between the three chemicals, there's not much to it. 
it slightly melts the plastic and you're able to weld and fuse it together almost if any sort of solvent including taurine xylene benzene at a push maybe methanol or turpentine all would produce similar results and i like lacquer thinner as i already have ample amount of and it's very easy to access 24 hours later, I've tested the bonds of each component, first starting with the two ABS sheets together, attempted to pry it open with a knife and nothing, it was fused shut together. The Gundam hand was also nicely stuck together and was not easy to bust open. That's extra thin, let's have a go at making general plastic cement, which has a little more to it. According to one of the MSDSs, it has an additional chemical or two of a few to 10%. A large amount of butyl acetate and acetone. Interestingly, 10% or more resin, which I assume is melted down plastic-like sprue glue, where you melt sprues in solvent to make a thick slow drying putty. Raw styrene comes clear. I decided to use white from some runners. With the 50-50 mix of MEK and acetone, with the strong solvent mix in a matter of two hours, the plastic completely liquefied. Interestingly, I learnt the resin separates from the liquid very quickly and requires shaking before use. Including evaporation, this may explain why plastic cement gets thicker and thicker over time with use. I have tested this concoction on this 4D models AFV, both scratch building and general assembly. This mix gave me the very best result of a fantastically strong adhesion, enough work time, quick drying and curing. Overall, a good cement experience. I've made a second batch of acetone and lacquer thinner with 10% sprue goo and just thinner and 10% sprue goo and got pretty much the same results. At this stage of the tests, this is not even really chemical engineering. I guess solvents just melts plastic. I did see this comment pop up in my research and others doing experimentation with using a whole range of solvent based chemicals and anything with enough heat can produce cement like qualities. You can save a mountain of money by mixing your own blend or using straight chemicals and just topping up your old Tamiya bottles. Hope you found this interesting. Uh, a last caution, please be very careful when playing with these chemicals. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time, stay tuned for further content. Check out the description section where I'll put links for my research in some of these forums which will lead to the data sheets and we'll catch you guys next time with more experimentation and tests. See you later.